All right, so as promised, today I'm going to uh, walk you through how I normally set up a project in Notion um, as a sort of setup and how I manage each video project. All right, so this is my this is my current um, business page. I just updated it recently, uh, so I'm still making some tweaks to it. I like the layout so far, but um, I have my set of projects right here and I'm going to actually set up a button now to kind of make make it a little easier to get to that space. So I'm going to open a new video project. All right, so um, this is the group that I'm working with and this is a particular cafe that they are interviewing and normally I would set the filming date um, I'm at, so they actually filmed this themselves uh, they interviewed them I think on we'll just say it was Monday um, and this actually is set up the publish date is a formula so based on whatever date I said it was filmed I pretty much plan a week out to have it ready to send and have it ready to archive whenever I'm done. My progress bar, the category, which is more so like which zone of my life it's it's relevant to. Um, th those are the main properties I have. I have some others, but um, I haven't used them for the video projects. Uh, this is a template that I work with. I don't know about you. If you if you, if you use Notion. Um, you might find out that sometimes it, it gets a little slow, which is not a fun thing to deal with when you are trying to go in and out, being being productive. Um, a slow Notion page is not a fun Notion page. So we're gonna do change the background to something relevant. So that there's a visual uh, connection. I'm already I've already started this project. Already started the editing. Um, usually, I will write what I'm focusing on here for the project. As of late, because I'm going going in and out with these videos, I haven't touched this as much. But um, so right here, I have my project mood board this I just recently set up all right so now I have the uh, the project uh, shoot day and mood board what I normally do this particular page as I just recently experimented with this setup on the masquerade ball video um, I actually had it label what the project was And it's not as relevant for this because I'm, I'm only editing, but I actually designed this page in this list form because I access this on my phone when I'm out on the shoot. Um, this is a couple of just reminders for me to think about. Um, I have to kind of come, come out of myself to engage better with everyone. Um, this was just a sort of set up this is where I have some notes as I was experimenting this right here my equipment list I used to have this on my phone on a separate notes page or app so I would just pretty much copied and pasted that entire list a checklist here so the idea is as I'm preparing like the day before a video shoot I'm going throughout, throughout this entire list making sure that I have all of these things or at least what I need for the particular project. I mean, I need um, everything. I mean, I need all all the tripods that I have, or the light stands, uh, depending on the on the shoot. I at least have this to remind me of what I'm looking for. And then this is 
these two sections are kind of for the day of. Um, so if I know what I'm looking to do, whereas that, as far as like the style that I'm approaching, the types of shots I'm wanting to get, I did some mood boarding and all of that. I'm gonna notate um, what, what frame rate I need to keep it at for the most part. Just I also have a reminder of making sure my camera matches the white balance in the room. I have a camera that does not uh, do manual white balance. So I have those set uh, features or settings and I can do a custom white balance, but that requires to take a picture of the environment. And then this shot list is more so um, guiding me for the lens that I need to work with, as well as the rig, whether I'm doing my uh, camera rig or stabilizer. And then right here will be the mood board. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show this in a different project because here you're not gonna really see what it's for, but for the masquerade project, um, so I also checked out, and this was my mood board. Uh, went to YouTube, found a video that had that at least give me an idea of what kind of shots to aim to get. Uh, even though it's an entirely different theme and it's for adults, um, it was the close, closest I can get to to uh, capturing the idea and the visual. So I have all that here. So I'm on my phone accessing these the, this uh, mood board, uh, the shot list, camera settings, reminders, and just personal reminders. And then this is sort of the longest running feature of this, vi of this video project uh, template. So right here I have two buttons. This is, so once I activate this button, it gives me a list of tasks to do more so when I'm starting off with the video client. Okay, so here, now that I've activated that, um, so this is gonna start off with ta tasks related to having the first phone call with the client, um, giving pricing information, getting the contract signed, things of that nature, getting um, money transferred, all that stuff, uh, research location. I've learned to do whatever I can to get a visual on that location that I'm shooting at, whether it's a wedding venue, some other kind of event, uh, whether it's a gym, whatever it is, I need to know beforehand what I'm shooting and what environment I'm working with because that tells me if I need to bring extra lights. That tells me if it's just going to be a bunch of natural daylight and there's no extra equipment needed for that. I have to, this is very, matter of fact, I'm going to, that's a high, high priority. Uh, then there's a shoot day, big day. Uh, this uh, order of like first deposit and final payment was initially set based on um, the flow of doing like a wedding uh, shoot. I did, I did tweak it a little bit. I may tweak it a little bit more, but that's what it is for now. And then right here, this tells me that now I need to activate this button, which is gonna set a new list of tasks. So, here, let me, um, let me undo that. So let's say I complete all these. All right now, now we can see the rest of it. So now I'm starting, I'm starting over with the list of tasks. Uploading the media. Um, task for getting a rough cut together, the music, any VFX or sound effects, doing like a final tweak, exporting it, sending it to the client, and at the very end, send a follow-up email. And then once all that's taken care of, 
Uh, something I've I- implemented just recently is um, actually reflecting on these these projects. So I actually asked myself how it went, what what could be better, any favorite moments, um, what what I wanted to do differently next time, and if I did everything I wanted in this project. So I'm, I'm learning to reflect more on what I do, just like I'm sort of doing like a video diary now with with this film business journey. I'm also notating and figuring out like what is going well, what is not going well for these video projects so I can get better. So this is pretty much my Notion workhorse for organizing my video projects, getting everything um, in check, and helping me to just stay on top of things. So yeah, if if you enjoy this this dive into Notion, um, leave a comment. If you already use Notion, let me know. I wouldn't call myself an expert in this. I think if anything, you should look at Thomas Frank Explains. His channel is all about Notion. He has an entire uh, database of just Notion tutorials. So I would say if you not use this, you should start there and you'll be amazed at all the different ways that this Notion uh, program can really work to organize your life.